Yeah, 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 it's Sunday. Are you ready for some football? I think a lot of people are. TV is already on. They're getting ready, watching the pre-games. We're here with Jeff Corcini from FantasyFootballStarters.com. He's got more great advice on your fantasy football picks. We're going to talk about buy low, sell high. Sell high. We're in week seven here. A lot yeah. of people are checking out their rosters, wondering mm -hmm. where do we go from here? What is your suggestion? Well, you know, it's interesting. Buy low and sell high is a topic that we've used throughout the season, and we've got some good candidates for buy low. The first one is Mark Bulger, quarterback of the St. Louis Rams. He's been banged up. Their team has been without 10 starters. We think that he's got big upside the rest of the season, so he's a player that you may want to target and pick up and, and, and not have to give away a lot to pick him up. I mean, he's a known winner. Yes, I, he is. And He's always done well, he, yes, and he they're has. not doing well as a team. That's right. So you figure it's got to get better from here. Yeah, right? and based on their matchups, the, the second half of the season, they start getting some players back. So fantasy fans that are frustrated with him may want to go ahead and give him up. And another player that is a buy low candidate is a player, Chris Chambers, who was with the Miami Dolphins and actually got traded this week to the Lucky San Diego him, Chargers. Huh? Yeah, he goes from an 0-6 <laughs> team, Lucky and him. now he's going to be playing for Norv Turner, who was an offensive coordinator back in Miami back four or five years ago. So he knows Chambers. He knows that he's a good player. Chambers hasn't been performing as well as he could have this year, possibly because of Miami's situation. So we look for him in a couple of weeks to really start to turn it around. they got to get LT running and establish the run, it. and then they can open it up in the you air. Got it. And then we got some sell, sell high candidates. And one of them is Todd Heap, tight end for the Baltimore Ravens. A lot of us know about Todd Heap from when he was here with Arizona State University. He's been banged up this, banged up this season, and he's got a lot of uh, upside and potential and a lot of name recognition. But the second half of the season, with their struggling at the quarterback position, we don't think that he's going to get the production that he's had in the past. So, so he's another player that if you got him on your roster, you may want to get rid of him while the going's good. Dump him now. Yeah, and dump the same thing with Patrick Creighton wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. He's been starting, scoring touchdowns, and a lot of that's been because Terry Glenn was out of the lineup. So and T.O. can't catch the ball. Yeah, you got it. So <laughs> ru rumor has it now that Terry Glenn's going to be coming back, so now's the time to maybe look at moving Pac to Creighton as well. He's had a good uh, half yeah. of the season so far. That's why you want to get rid of him while the going's been good. All right, uh, now we... we Come we got home. To, yeah, Arizona we do. here. Yes, we're we talking do. about Anquan Bolden. Yes. What's your advice on Anquan? You know, he just got he's just gotten he's just mending up from an injury. So we think that this week it's a tough start. Don't expect a lot out of Anquan Bolden right now. Um, he's probably going to take him a couple of weeks to get going, but uh, down the line he's a solid fantasy play as he's always been. Look for him to turn it around as long as Kurt Warner can stay healthy or Tim Rattay, but not this week. He's going to have a tough matchup against the Washington Redskins. Yeah, this what week. do you have to say about Kurt? He's kind of injured, but he's still, you know, toughing it out. Oh yeah, he's a real tough tough guy and but the, the, the thing about Kurt Warner is he's one hit away if you started him last week is a perfect example he got banged up so we keep our fingers crossed about Kurt Warner and I mean a solid a solid player but a little too susceptible to injuries right now proven winner I think he'll get through this super sleeper of the week yeah we've got a super sleeper and that's David Patton wide receiver of the New Orleans Saints and while New Orleans just got their first win last week he had a big part to do with that he's not typically a starter but one of their starting wide receivers Devry Henderson the team's kind of down on him a little bit Drew Brees did hook up with um, David Patton for eight receptions and 113 yards and this is a guy that if you can put him on your fantasy roster down the line when you get into the playoffs he may see more production all right definitely great advice I'm sure all these people are jotting all this information down and they can always find all this on your website that's right fantasyfootballstarters.com we've got all tools to help people win with drafting making trades setting their lineup um, they can test out our free trial offer and then I know later on in this segment we're gonna take some calls so looking forward to it exactly all right stick around with us folks now Jeff again will be taking calls from us just in a couple minutes and we'll be right back 